listen to me. The woman in this video is a prime example of what us men be talking about when we say you women are ungrateful and you do not know what you want. And the crazy thing is, right? She is literally embarrassing this man. I'm dating a broke guy. So for her boyfriend who sees this video, who went, it's a world star, so the shit went viral. <clears throat> Listen to me, homeboy. Hey, break up her immediately. Immediately. And the crazy thing is, right? She doesn't even sound like that bad of a person. She don't. We're going to get into the video, though. But before we do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel at RingFit TV. We are at 938. We are almost at 1K. What's up? Turn me up. Let's go. I know y'all can help me get to 1K. I know y'all. I got faith in y'all, man. I fucking love you. I'm grateful. And of course, man, follow me on my Facebook page at RingFit TV. And of course, man, follow me on IG at RainFit24. I got some shorts. I got extra content over there for you as well, man. So tap in with me. All right, let's go. We're going to get into this. I'm going to grab these. And um, we're going to allow her to talk her talk. Let's go. I'm dating a broke guy. And it really, really sucks because he has the best personality, hands down. I have so much fun with him and but it's like it's gotten to the point where right now i'm not doing as financially well as i normally do and that's the crazy thing right what i tell you fellas everybody what i've been telling y'all normally pardon me normally the women who ask for the most who and have the most complaints are what they broke i'm telling you they use the standards and all that other shit. oh you gotta be making this you gotta be doing that Nine times out of ten, they broke. I'm not gonna continue, but I don't be lying. So in the past, like we have taken trips, but I've paid for the trips, I've paid for the hotel, I've paid for the rental of the car. If we've been to concerts, I've paid for the tickets. He does. Fellas, listen to me. The worst thing you can do. I'm gonna repeat this again. The worst thing you can do is allow a woman to pay for everything. I don't give a flying what she say to you. No woman, and I repeat, no woman wants a man in which they have to pay for everything. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They, they don't. Now, you have some great women who don't mind helping you and holding you down during your dark times. I'm not saying that they don't exist because they do. They're out there. And I love you, ladies. Shut up. Salute to you. But... For the most part, women do not want a man that they have to spend their money on all the time, if at all. It's the worst thing you can do. He does what he can when he can, but he doesn't do enough. Ungrateful mother! You know what I'm saying? But he does what he can when he can. But it's gotten to the point where it definitely sucks because I'm not doing as well financially. I can't afford to do things for two people. I can't even afford to do things just myself right now. So because I can't afford to, sucks like it's crazy because I don't think like I feel like females come on online and talk about like look what he bought me look what he got me look at where he took me. It's like the ones that are dating the broke men. We don't talk about it. But it's like, no, I mean, I don't know. There has to be like a conversation about it. And it really sucks because I feel like it's kind of getting to the point where if I'm not the breadwinner or if I'm not, if I don't somehow make my life lead me up to making income for two, I don't think that I'm going to be able to be with this person. And it just really sucks because it's, he, like I said, he has like the best personality hands down. So I'm on here to ask, what do I do? And don't be too cold. Like, don't be too rude. You know what I'm saying? Because I had my narcissist ex-boyfriend who made way more money than I did. And, you know, that wasn't the answer. Like, so it's like, where is the common ground? Like, and... That was the end of the video, but like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so you had a man who made more money, right? That wasn't it. So money isn't it. The man you're with now has a great personality, and you want to throw the whole relationship with, throw the whole relationship away because you cannot get on the internet. 
to impress a bunch of fucking strangers. Oh my god, listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me. I cannot date in 2024. I can't do it. I, I wouldn't be able to do it. You, I, oh my. Fellas, good luck. No, no, I mean that shit. Look at me in my eyes. Hey, look. Good luck. <laughs> good fucking luck, yo. So this woman got on the internet, publicly embarrasses her boyfriend by letting the world know that he's broke and she pays for everything. And then at the end of the video, say that, yeah, but because, you know, my ex-boyfriend, he made a lot more money than I did, but that wasn't the answer either. It's like, what the fuck do you want, ladies? <laughs> now, listen to me. When I say ladies, I don't mean all of you, okay? Not, the, listen, you ladies watching my video are perfect, and you are angels. I love you. Not y'all. I'm talking to the ones like the one in the video. You make no fucking sense, and you un and then y'all wonder why men be so frustrated with y'all. And then yeah, anytime a man expresses his frustration or say anything to the contrary that you ladies want to hear, you want to call him gay, you want to call him sassy, you want to call him everything but a child of God. But y'all don't see nothing or hear nothing that you do or say before that that made that man get to that point. Ugh. Listen to me, man. I don't know. I feel bad for you, fellas, because I couldn't date. Mm -mm, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Oh, man. So she's willing to throw away the whole relationship because she can't get on the internet and flex. And if you are struggling, right? Listen to me, right? If you're struggling, why are you taking trips? Why are you going to concerts? Grind, get your money, then enjoy that stuff. If you... If you are, like, and that's one thing I would never understand about people is that, like, a lot of people like to take trips and do all these things and have all these experiences when you're broke. Mm -mm. Being broke is the time to sit down and grind. Grind time. When you're broke, that's fucking grind time. You, you, you can't afford to take trips. You can't afford to go to concerts. No, stay the fuck home. You better concert your ass in the living room. But you, you better, you better bring the sand from the beach to the living room and spread that shit on the floor and pretend like you had a fucking resort, motherfucker. You can't afford it. You better stay the fuck home. Jesus Christ, people's priorities is so like backwards and it makes no sense. It is so stupid. And like when I listen to some people talk, I'm just like, yo, y'all, you are really stupid. Like, it really doesn't make sense to me. But anyway. I am done talking about this, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, speaking of the word sassy, um, I did this video on this woman, and she called men sassy for this reason. And, you know, you'll see what I'm talking about. The video is on the screen. I'm out of here. And don't forget, man, please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel at TV. We out of here, man. Good luck to y'all dating in 2024. I couldn't do it, man. Mm-mm.